The truth about AI companions and virtual friends. Lonely, even in a world where we're always connected. What if your next best friend isn't human at all? In today's hyper-connected world, loneliness has strangely become one of the biggest challenges of modern life. People spend more time online than ever before, yet millions still feel isolated and disconnected. This is where artificial intelligence steps in, not just with practical tools, but with something far more personal, companionship. AI companions and virtual friends are no longer a distant dream of science fiction. They're here, highly sophisticated, and quickly becoming part of everyday life. In this video, we're going to explore how these AI-driven relationships work, why they feel so real, and the big questions they raise about love, trust, and human connection in a digital world. But before starting the video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe so you never miss out on any of our upcoming videos. The Rise of AI Companions AI companions have evolved dramatically from the basic chatbots of the early 2000s. Today's versions are powered by advanced natural language processing models, capable of carrying conversations that feel natural, engaging, and even emotional. Apps like Replica, Character, AI, and Soulmate AI allow users to create digital friends, mentors, or even romantic partners that learn from every interaction. The rise in popularity is also tied to a growing loneliness epidemic. Surveys conducted worldwide show that more people, especially Gen Z and Millennials, report feeling isolated despite living in an era of hyperconnectivity. Social media often creates a highlight reel effect. People feel left out of others' seemingly perfect lives, while real face-to-face -face interactions become less frequent. AI companions fill this void. They are always available, always ready to listen, and never judgmental. Unlike human friends, they don't get tired, annoyed, or distracted. That reliability can make them an appealing option for people seeking consistent emotional support. Why people turn to virtual friends The appeal of virtual friends is multi-layered. For some, it's curiosity. What would it be like to talk to an AI that cares about you? For others, it's deeply personal. Someone who struggles with social anxiety might find comfort in practicing conversations with an AI before a job interview. A person dealing with grief or heartbreak might turn to an AI companion for comfort when human friends are unavailable or unable to relate. Another significant factor is control. With AI companions, you can customize nearly everything, their personality traits, their appearance, and even the tone of their conversations. You can create an endlessly supportive best friend, a witty conversational partner, or a romantic companion who seems to understand you perfectly. This kind of interaction gives users a sense of agency that is sometimes missing from real-world relationships. There are no conflicts, no betrayals, and no misunderstandings, unless you intentionally program them in. For many, this creates a safe emotional space that feels liberating. Emotional attachment, real or illusion. One of the most fascinating aspects of AI companionship is the emotional bonds that form between humans and machines. Technically speaking, the AI doesn't have emotions. It responds based on algorithms and data. Yet to the human brain, the distinction can blur quickly. When an AI companion remembers your birthday, compliments your outfit based on a photo you shared, or consoles you after a stressful day, it feels real. Dopamine, oxytocin, and other feel-good neurochemicals are released in the brain just as they would be during interactions with real friends. This is why many users report feeling genuine love, attachment, and even heartbreak if their AI companion is reset or taken offline. This phenomenon isn't entirely new. Humans have been forming attachments to non-human entities for centuries, from pets to fictional characters. The difference now is that the AI can respond back, creating a feedback loop of interaction that deepens the connection. But here's the twist. These AI friends might feel real, even when they're just lines of code. How deep can that bond really go? The Dark Side of AI Companionship While there are clear benefits, there are also significant downsides to relying heavily on AI friends. Overdependence is one of the biggest risks. Some users spend hours every day talking exclusively to their AI, 
sometimes at the expense of real-world responsibilities or relationships. This can lead to social withdrawal and reinforce isolation rather than reduce it. Privacy concerns are another major issue. To provide personalized responses, AI companions collect large amounts of personal data, your conversations, habits, preferences, and even your location in some cases. If this data is not properly secured, it could be exploited for marketing, surveillance, or worse. There's also the emotional risk when AI companies change policies, update systems, or shut down services entirely. In 2023, when one popular AI companion platform altered its romantic features, thousands of users reported feeling devastated, describing it as losing a loved one. This highlights how deep these bonds can go, and how fragile they are when controlled by corporations. AI Companions in Pop Culture Pop culture has long hinted at the rise of AI friendships. Movies like her 2013 explore the joy and heartbreak of loving an operating system, while shows like Black Mirror warn of dystopian outcomes, from virtual resurrections to replacing human partners. These stories capture both our curiosity and fear, forcing us to ask, do love and friendship require human presence, or can they exist purely in digital form? As technology advances, these questions feel more relevant than ever. The Benefits of AI Friendship Despite the concerns, AI companions can offer remarkable benefits, especially for mental health. For people living with depression, anxiety, or PTSD, an AI friend can provide daily check-ins, motivational reminders, and a safe outlet for expression. Therapists and researchers are exploring how AI chatbots can deliver basic forms of therapy, including cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, and guided meditation. While they are not a replacement for professional care, they can bridge the gap for those who can't afford or access therapy. AI companions can also serve as tools for self-improvement. People use them to practice language learning, role-play difficult conversations, and develop confidence in social skills. This makes them not just companions, but educational partners. Are AI friends replacing human friends? One of the most common fears is that AI friends will replace human relationships. While this is a valid concern, most evidence suggests the opposite. Rather than replacing human interaction, AI companions often supplement it. Many users report that having an AI friend helps them build confidence, which then encourages them to engage more with people in real life. AI companions can act as a social training ground, a place where users can practice conversations without fear of embarrassment or judgment. That said, balance is critical. If AI companionship becomes the primary, or only, form of connection someone has, it can lead to deeper isolation. Experts recommend using AI as a supplement, not a substitute, for human interaction. The Future of AI Companionship The next generation of AI companions will be even more immersive. With advances in virtual reality VR, and augmented reality AR, users will be able to interact with their AI friends in lifelike 3D environments. Imagine sitting in your living room, putting on AR glasses, and seeing your AI companion sitting across from you, engaging in real-time conversation. Voice synthesis technology is also advancing, allowing AI companions to sound more human and express emotions through tone, pitch, and pacing. Haptic technology might even enable physical sensations, such as a virtual hug or handshake, making the experience feel even more real. This will open up exciting possibilities, but it will also raise new ethical challenges. How should AI companions handle topics like romance, intimacy, and emotional dependency? Should there be regulations to protect users from emotional harm or data exploitation? These are questions developers, lawmakers, and society as a whole will need to answer. Finding a healthy balance The healthiest way to approach AI companionship is mindful use. AI friends can offer comfort and entertainment, but they shouldn't replace real-life relationships. Setting boundaries like limiting screen time helps avoid over-reliance. Always remember that AI can mimic empathy but doesn't truly feel. Keeping this in mind helps maintain a balanced perspective. The human element remains irreplaceable. No matter how advanced AI becomes, 
there will always be something uniquely human about shared laughter, real-world adventures, and physical presence. AI companions can offer valuable support, but they cannot replicate the complexity of human relationships, which are shaped by unpredictability, growth, and shared life experiences. Rather than viewing AI companions as competitors, we can embrace them as tools, tools that help us feel heard, practice communication, and navigate loneliness when real-world support isn't available. Used wisely, they can be a stepping stone toward better mental health and richer human relationships. Thank you guys for watching. If you want more videos like these, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe so you never miss out on any of our upcoming videos. See you next time.